Good. Take four because of a whole lot of things. Anyway, cooking video number one. We decided to start out with uh, a whole bunch of cuts that most people throw in the ground meat. We got two necks, big dough, little dough, two shanks, one of them's got the bone in, and two faux shanks, which is the front piece of meat off the hind quarter that is laid over the top of the shank. So straight up, salt, pepper, garlic powder. We're gonna put a hard sear on them before we throw the veggies in. Very good. Extra virgin olive oil. I prefer avocado oil because the smoke point's a little higher or straight up pork fat, but we don't have that, so we use an extra virgin olive oil. We're gonna put a hard sear on. We'll start with Big Mama right here. That's what we want right there, so that brown on the meat. Extra layer of flavor. Extra layer of flavor, that's what we going for. All right, this is what you're looking for right here. We ain't trying to cook it all the way through, we try to put a crust on it. If you get that crust, you set it to the side, Grab your nose and throw it off in there. I'm about to pull his neck out. So we got, we're getting a good crust on these pieces right here. See yeah, that crust on there? That's what we're looking for. What are you doing, Rub Dog? Say, I want a little piece of that. You'll get one later. All right, now that we got a brown on all the meat, come over here, we got two whole onions, two whole bell peppers, a whole head of celery, and a whole head of garlic. Let me just use the tool that God gave you. Get all that off in there. As some of the folks probably know from the TikTok, that'd be the Holy Trinity with the folks coming to the car. But, we've been using that in our family for eternity. And what you want to do right here, you don't want to cook them all the way through, you just want to sweat them down a little bit just to get the moisture come out so you deglaze in the bottom of the pan. Once you get all the crust off the bottom of the pan, get them sweated down a little bit, then we go back. I see this boy in all the land. Rogue, say hi to the people at home. Rogue. Grandmaster Spice, all right. We're looking good in here. We're probably gonna need about another four or five minutes. And as you can see in here, this is just a rough chop. This stuff right here is supposed to be boiling for hours. So this is just gonna be part of the broth by the time we come back. So we're not trying to make it pretty. We're trying to make it taste good. So, hang on with me. All right, we got four cans of Rotel. We got two original. We got two hot. And I know what some of y'all are thinking. Where is all this coming from? Now, the answer is straight out our hind end. We looked in the cabinet, had some beefy mushroom soup. This right here is camp meal. You use what you got, and as long as you got onion, bell pepper, garlic, and celery, it's gonna taste good, I promise you. We poor folk, we don't buy them three or four dollar quarts of broth, and we ain't got time to make our own, we out. Edgy, six or eight cubes, chicken boy, so, we're using a bunch of red meat 
So if you use a bunch of red meat and a bunch of beef broth, it gets real, real rich. I like using chicken broth or chicken bouillon a lot of the time to lighten up the stew whenever you're using a whole bunch of red meat. So just keep that in mind. Now that we've got everything, one big happy family in the pot. The simmering, it's all married together. We're gonna take the meat and we're going back in with it. No particular order. We just gotta get it in there. Now, clean, cool water. Get my spatula. We're coming in here with it. That's probably eight cups. Enough to just barely cover the top of the meat. And don't forget, we got one more big piece to add. All right, right there, it looks a little uh, sus. It's drippings off the meat and the burnt seasoning from the paint. So we are gonna just get a little, just enough to get it moving and all that is flavor. All that goes right back in. We had added big donut in that. We're gonna bring it back up to a rolling ball and we're fixing to go in there and raid that cabinet and see what else we can find. On the next stairs. What you got? Cabinet. About to rate it. Random cabinets full of seasoning are always good for the soul. Lord have mercy. If you never heard of Magnolia Seasoning Company, look them up. Best in the business. Alright, we got leg row, game time. We got some ground red pepper. We got some stinky red. We're going to keep it simple. And just remember, season and taste, and season and taste, and season and taste. As you go to where you know what it tastes like, and you know when to stop whenever you get it the way you like it. And if there's some kind of seasoning I'm using that you ain't real big on, then swap it out. This is inspiration for you to cook some good food with some cuts of meat that usually get left in the woods. So... Stay tuned. We're gonna come up to a rolling bowl. It tastes like we want it. We're gonna mix this pot right over here. And turn the heat down. We're gonna turn it down so it just simmers. We're fixing to go get about an hour and that. Get off, get off, man. I can't see that yet. We're fixing to go get about an hour and that. We're gonna come back and check it before we head to the woods. Y'all stay tuned. All right, we just woke up from the most glorious nap ever. We added more water. So it's been added for about an hour and a half and it was, bo it was boiling pretty good. But we're fixing to leave for five hours, four hours, a while. We're, we're going hunting. We're trying to get some more of those deer that come over back to after dark. It's gonna be boiling for the whole time we're going so we wanna add more water because we don't want it to go dry. Go dry, pot burn, pot melts, bad food. No food actually. So. We're gonna add a little more seasoning because we added water. We're gonna lower it down to a simple. Stay tuned. Are we back? Yes, we're All back. Alright, we forgot to update as soon as we got back out of the woods. But we've been simmering quite a while. Let me show you what these old tough necks turn into. Are you ready for this? Come, come down here. Come here. Oh my gosh, it's so tough. That meat ain't no good. It's just good for the grinder. Get, get, get. Anyway, I killed him. I can, reduce. I, I can finger this. We week. got too much liquid in the pot. We bring to a roller bowl. Demonstration of a roller bowl. That's rolling on the river. Hey, Tony. Hey. So we missed a few steps up here. We missed a few steps that we're going to cover. We went back to the house on my end gauge here. Did you show him? And then sliced Mr. up. Mr. Walker, Sitka sponsor. Hey, Go back ahead. over here. And then sliced up a pile of potatoes, a pile of carrots, and a pile of onion. So we still got the meat. Deboned meat over here sitting out. We hadn't put it back in yet. We added the root vegetables and the onions. We're boiling them until they get tender. And once they get tender, we move to the next step. So we got to roll them ball. Roll them until they tender. And then we're going to come back. 
rolling like they on the river. We're from here now. The potatoes and the carrots are tender. Come see. Come see what we got here. See how easy that goes in there? That's what we're talking about. We're talking about done this here. Now, coming back over here, we got the meats. No more bones in the meats. Go. All right. Debone all the meat. We just go ease it down. All right, we're gonna let that warm back up and we got a few surprises. A few surprises. Stay tuned. One whole big can, family size can of golden sweet whole kernel corn. In the pot. Because why not? It was in the cabinet. We saw this coming. A whole D bone rotisserie chicken. Why not? Why not? Yes, it's really happening. <laughs> but there's some more surprises. Some more surprises coming. Get ready. Bet you never guessed what was coming next. <laughs> That's right. That's Most right. Most of a block of Alveda cheese. Most of <laughs> The other, yeah, the rest block. of it went to where that man sabotaged. Most hey, of whole block. I got a whole block of cream cheese. Merry Christmas. Happy Filthy New Year. animals. Are we putting this in there? Stay tuned. Oh! We're not doing it. You never hit it. Oh, we're doing this. Yeah. We're doing this. Because why not? I mean, if we're putting that in there, we'll put the other. other, other Just because why not? The whole bag of Kraft Colby Jack cheese. The whole bag. <laughs> the whole ass bag. <laughs> what do you think, Rogue? I don't know about that, man. All right, we're back. Stay tuned. All right, Stu, we brought it up inside. Brought it up inside, gonna eat. But we about to go outside. We about to go play poker in this game is good, but for now, I'm about to get a couple, a couple little scoopings of this here meat. Should have double bowled it. Ooh, it's hot. It's hot. All right, Stu. It's not cool. Yes, there's a whole rotisserie chicken in there, which tastes like still. I hadn't tasted it. I'm gonna taste this hot fire. Whoa. I need some ice in that, man. <laughs> That's scrumptious. Huh? That's scrumptious. Oh God. It's good, but God right. bless. Don't do it. Oh. I feel like that Jesus himself is standing on my right side here, placing his hand on my shoulder as I go through this experience. He's with us. He's with y'all if you follow our recipe, which isn't much. It's just everything. It's just Try it. I'm telling you, he'll come down and he'll save you. Say it until next time. Until next time. Get saved. <laughs>